Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have healing of extraction wound or extraction socket in oral pathology. So it is a simple procedure after the removal of tooth from its socket. The socket itself is healed or it's repaired itself over a period of four weeks. So usually it takes four weeks to almost uh, gets back to its normal state so let's see what are the changes happening in extraction socket during the four week periods so we can divide the entire sequence into the changes which is happening immediately after the extraction the first week changes, second week changes, third week changes and the fourth week changes. So what are the changes which is happening immediately after an extraction? So immediate reactions are bleeding as we all know there will be bleeding and there will be a clot formation. So let this be a extraction socket. So this is a clot which is uh, forming immediately after the extraction. And there will be RBCs which is entrapped in the fibrin uh, meshwork of this uh, toned blood vessels. Okay, so there will be RBCs. So RBCs will be entrapped in the fine fibrin meshwork ends of toned blood vessels. And they will become sealed off. So first 24 to 48 hours there will be vasodilation and engorgement of blood vessels. There will be mobilization of leukocytes so leukocytes will be mobilized to extraction socket okay so these are the changes which is happening immediately that is uh, bleeding and clot formation rbc's entrapment in the fibrin meshwork and the blood vessels torn ends will be sealed off there will be vasodilation engorgement of blood vessels and mobilization of leukocytes Whereas the first week changes are mainly involving the proliferation of fibroblast from connective tissue cells in the remnants of periodontal ligament into the clot around the entire periphery. So let it, this be a three dimensional clot. So from entire periphery the fibroblast will be proliferated from the connective tissue cells of this PDL into this clot. So the clot will be gradually replaced by the granulation tissue so clot will be gradually replaced by granulation tissue and epithelium shows evidence of proliferation at the periphery so at the periphery this epithelium at the periphery epithelium shows proliferation and the crest of alveolar bone shows beginning of osteoclastic activity so there will be alveolar bone so it was protecting the tooth before so the crest of alveolar bone, this portion, this portion will show osteoclastic, that is resorption, resorption happening at the crest of alveolar bone and there will be endothelial cell proliferation. So these are changes which is happening first week, that is fibroblast is coming into action, there will be replacement of clot by granulation tissue, the crest of alveolar bone is by uh, osteoclastic action and there will be endothelial cell proliferation so as we move forward the second week so second week the clot is replaced by granulation tissue and there will be new delicate capillaries penetrated to the center of clot so there will be new capillaries and the wall of socket appears frayed due to degeneration of periodontal ligament and also we can see trabeculae of osteoid okay so trabeculae of osteoid can be seen and there will be considerable epithelial proliferation over the surface of wound and or completed if a small socket is present if it is a very small socket uh, like mandibular anterior tooth there will be uh, complete epithelial proliferation but if it is a big socket uh, molars so there will be considerable proliferation 
and the alveolar socket shows prominent osteoclastic resorption okay so all those bones will be showing osteoclast the edges of the crest of the alveolar bone so these are the changes happening in second week there will be new capillary delicate capillaries at the center of clute and the wall of socket appears frayed due to degeneration of periodontal ligament and there will be trabeculae of osteoid and there will be considerable epithelial proliferation whereas the third week changes are the clot is replaced almost completely by organized mature granulation tissue so mature granulation tissue is completely replacing this clot and there will be young trabeculae of osteo tissue is forming around the entire periphery so entire periphery there will be formation of trabeculae of osteo tissue then the crest of alveolar bone is rounded off by osteoclast okay so these are the crest of alveolar bone so this is a three dimensional structure okay so all these crest will be rounded off by osteoclast and surface of bone becomes completely organized so it will be completely organized and this will be almost like completely organized and whereas the fourth week so the wound in final stage of healing there is continuous deposition and remodeling that is remodeling resorption of the bone which fills the alveolar socket and uh, by around six to eight week post extraction we can see uh, the radiographic evidence of bone uh, before that we even though the bone formation is there we won't get uh, the radiographic evidence to get a radiographic evidence we need around six to eight weeks so these are the basic uh, changes or the series of uh, events happening in an extraction socket or extraction wound that is immediate change first second third and fourth week so the clot is gradually replaced by granulation tissue and there will be osteoid formation and the alveolar uh, osteoclasts are removing the alveolar crest and complete uh, getting back to its normal around fourth week so there are many complications of extraction wound healing the most common one is dry socket so we have already seen uh, already studied dry socket dry socket it is there are many reasons for dry socket it is a delayed wound healing mostly the traumatic extraction causes uh, dry socket so dry socket uh, session was already uploaded so please check that uh, session in the channel about dry socket and uh, there could be another reason is fibrous fibrous healing so fibrous healing is another complication it is uh, when there is a difficult or complicated extraction uh, it creates a loss of both lingual and uh, buccal or labial plates of bone with lots of periosteum so this will create a uh, creation of uh, fibrous healing the normal healing is not possible because uh, uh, normal uh, supply of leukocytes and other tissues and other the inflammatory cells uh, supplying uh, elements are missing here so there will be fibrous tissue formation so these are the two uh, common complication of extraction wound or healing of uh, socket so it is a commonly asked uh, short note in oral pathology so the first week second week third week and fourth week sometimes the week could be a single short note like the changes of extraction socket during first week similarly second or third week so there are many factors which are affecting this uh, healing of extraction would suggest and if the area is with good vascular supply which uh, prompts faster healing and the physical factors like the trauma to the tissue if it is very a traumatic means it will heal fast and uh, the circulatory factors such as anemia dehydration it might delay the wound healing and nutritional factors so nutritional factors uh, which could uh, 
negatively influence if nutritional deficiencies are so it might delay or it will hamper the process of wound healing so age of the patient younger persons uh, wound heals very fastly and infections if infection is there it delays the wound healing process and uh, hormonal factors like um, adrenocorticotropic hormone and cortisone which shows slow healing and diabetes mellitus also is another thing which uh, causes a delayed healing so that's all about healing of extraction wound so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you